And now to the western half of the state, where moisture has been sparse at best. In the Panhandle, rain this week totaled half an inch at the most and three hundredths at the least. Jeff Bradshaw, UNL Extension Entomologist in Scotts Bluff, says those dry conditions lead to an increased potential for grasshoppers to be worse than usual. Because of the dry weather and because we still do have a uh, pretty good risk forecasted by the USDA for grasshopper outbreaks, uh, that we are uh, concerned with our grasshopper numbers this year. So Jeff, how serious is that number then put out by the USDA? A uh, pretty severe number in parts, they'll be lower, uh, but in particular places like Garden County, for example, uh, Sheridan County that had high numbers last year uh, can maybe expect to have those, uh, those severe infestations continue. Jeff, how is this year different? How does the dryness affect what grasshoppers are able to do as we go through spring and into summer? Yeah, well, the issue with the dry weather is that, um, you know, it doesn't help us with uh, grass growth whatsoever. And so there increases the chance uh, with that that grasshoppers, that fewer grasshoppers can have a, a greater impact on, on drier rangeland. So, Jeff, for rangeland producers in the state, what's the, what's the recommendation then if they're worried about the risk? Uh, the key thing for grasshopper control, uh, control of any insect, is to scout. And so get out on your range, uh, check and see what your grasshopper situation is. And uh, we've got some thresholds and some protocols online uh, that you can use uh, for scouting for grasshoppers. And what we're looking for is to control nymph or immature grasshopper populations. And we have some thresholds uh, that generally around 15 to 20 grasshoppers per square yard uh, that can be used uh, in determining if you've got an economic number of uh, immature grasshoppers on your rangeland. So if you meet a required threshold, what's the recommended treatment? Uh, there's a number of chemical compounds that can be used. Uh, one common uh, program that's used is called the RATS program, uh, reduced area agent treatments. And what that allows you to do or what it calls for is spraying swaths of land uh, but then leaving uh, untreated swaths. So basically those untreated swaths can serve as um, uh, a refuge for beneficials uh, that can move into the treated swaths uh, once those compounds uh, uh, wear off. And so typically what is used uh, is a compound called demolin uh, mixed with uh, crop oil as well as canola uh, to attract actually the grasshoppers in. And then that compound um, is a growth regulator that keeps those grasshoppers from molting from nymph to adult. As Jeff mentioned, more information on scouting for and controlling grasshoppers can be found in a series of NEB guides on the CropWatch website.